I'm CM Coleman and welcome to CM Coleman Home. Today I'm going to make jerky for humans. Now I was calling this human jerky but some people pointed out that that might sound a bit off-putting so I changed it. Let's take a look at our finished product first. Doesn't that look pretty good? It really is tasty and it's wonderful. It's a really easy thing to make and I'm going to show you how. Alright, my recipe uses four pounds of beef because that's what I could get. I could get four pounds of ground beef. Yes, I'm using ground beef. I put my four pounds of ground beef into my blender and then I right now, right, right now I'm just sort of breaking that up a little bit more. I didn't want to have to go through the whole process of watching me put it into the blender. Sort of boring. Now we'll get to our spices and everything. I'm using one tablespoon of paprika one tablespoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of liquid smoke, one tablespoon of uh, teriyaki sauce, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Alright, now here comes the cheating part. Some of you might cringe, but it's one of my easiest ways to do this. I'm going to put this into my blender and you notice that it is blending everything up. You can do this by hand, it's just, a, it's, it's easy by hand, but I like to use the blender because I want to make sure that everything gets worked well and worked into it very, very well. Mix it up, make sure that all, the, and I'm checking, you notice I'm keeping an eye on this, making sure that it gets all worked in there. once it looks like everything is blended in and this is the best part about the stand mixer is the fact that uh, I can use it really it goes really pretty quick there we'll turn that off we'll raise it up I have a separate bowl wow, that smells really good now remember you are using raw meat raw meat right now so when you're using raw meat you want to handle raw meat with care which means I'm thoroughly going to disinfect everything that I'm using right now. It'll go to the dishwasher, it'll be washed, that the whole nine yards. Alright, now I'm going to take my mixture, placing it into a large bowl, into any size bowl realistically, but I wanted to get it out of a metal bowl because I just don't feel comfortable with leaving the meat in a metal bowl. That's just me. You might. I will cover this over and put it in the refrigerator for six to eight hours or overnight. It just depends upon how you want to do this. So six to eight hours in the refrigerator and we'll come back. Our jerky has been has set up for uh it's been overnight. A little bit longer because of course everybody and the brother decided to join me today. And now it's time to put it into our wonderful jerky gun. If you don't have one of these I highly recommend it. If not you're going to have to pat it down and that's a little bit harder. But all we do, we take the meat, and I'll take it in small sections, put it into the gun, and that's it. Once we get this thing loaded up, <laughs> I am finding that the beef jerky loads up, the beef loads up a lot easier than the uh, turkey because of course it is much, much drier. I'm sorry, than the chicken because it's much, much drier. You can check out my uh, dog treats, which I make from, which I make with uh, ground chicken. And you could actually do this, I suppose, with, well, I'm sure you could. You could actually do this using ground, ground turkey instead of beef. I've heard, now I do not know this for a fact, so you can't hold me to this one. I've heard you can do this with uh, fish. And I know you can do it with turkey and probably just about anything else. If I were doing it with pork, I would cook the pork first, just in case. All right, I'm not going to fill it up all the way so that way I don't have to bore you with the whole watch what I'm doing for the next 30 minutes as I fill this thing up. Okay, I put on, I put on my tip, then all I'm going to do, lay down one of the racks, 
use this like a cock gun. And we extrude our ground beef. Then, once I have the trays all filled up, I will let this, I will not let this up, I will turn on the dehydrator, which that's the top for it right there. I'll turn on the dehydrator and let it go until the food is totally, not totally dehydrated, but dehydrated probably six to eight hours. And it should be still pliable. So like if you bend it, it cracks, but it does not break. But it needs to be done. You don't want to have to, you don't want to be eating raw beef. There we go. And we have one tray. I put the next tray on top. I like to turn it. And that's it. So what we'll do is we will get this, I'll fill up the trays. Then I will turn the dehydrator on, and we'll come back once it's all dehydrated. Once your jerky is done in the dehydrator, and you can tell when it's done, because what happens is, when you bend the, the uh, jerky, it will bend but not break. So that way you know it's dehydrated fully. Then you can store it in airtight containers and eat it whenever you want. Now this is a great recipe to play around with. You don't have to stick with my ingredients. Add your own, add more teriyaki sauce, add soy sauce, add the seasonings that you like to have in your jerky. It's fun to play around with and it's really good. And this one of course you can take with you wherever you go because well, it's jerky. Homemade ground beef jerky. Give it a try, I think you'll like this and it's just something that you can do anytime. I do recommend getting the jerky gun, but it is not necessary. You could take two pieces of plastic wrap and just roll out the meat in between the two pieces and then do it that way. Really simple. Like I said, give this one a try. I'm CM Coleman and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like. Also, you can favorite and share it on social media. Don't forget to check out my other channels, CM Coleman Home, CM Coleman Daily, and CM Coleman Games. Once again, I'm Sam Coleman, and make yourself at home.